they are not doing what they're saying on TV. Lying to this country, they are lying to the world. It's like they want it to spread. We are suffering from the rampage of the coronavirus in New York City. This virus is real. This virus is killing everyone. There is no age limit. Regardless to what they say, 80 something and over are not just dying. 50 and over are not just dying. Today, I lost my sister to the coronavirus. But let me tell you how it happened. My sister went to New York Presbyterian Hospital in Manhattan. First, they told her she had bronchitis and not the coronavirus. She went back again. Then they told her she had pneumonia and not the coronavirus. They still didn't test. Then they told her she had the flu and not the coronavirus. It wasn't until she was put on a ventilator and unconscious that they decided to test her and she died. Why do the rich, the famous, the ball players, the rappers, why do they all have access to the test for the coronavirus? And us people who are working and who aren't rich and who aren't famous, why don't we have access to the test? After my sister died, I had to take her 11-year-old daughter to Montefiore Hospital on 210th Street in the Bronx after she was paraded from Manhattan and has been around her daughter, well, her mother, excuse me, for all those days while her mother died from the coronavirus. I had to bring her from Manhattan on the subway to the Bronx. Still not knowing that the mother had the coronavirus, brought her to Montefiore Hospital where they took my little niece threw her in a tent, told us we're not testing here. Threw her in a tent, a cold tent outside because it's cold in New York now. Threw her in a tent, tested her vitals, then told me to take her back home. In my house, all my four teenage daughters, my husband, who's in heart failure. He's 50 something years old. So she couldn't quarantine here. She had to go quarantine with her brother, his wife, and their, what, three kids? I'm told that there are no tests in New York. Let me explain to y'all what's really happening in New York. This piece of shit president we have has 20,000 ventilators that he is not letting go. We need the ventilators, Mr. President. He's not letting them go because he is saving these ventilators for him and his rich people and people who have money, the politicians. That is why President Trump is not releasing the 20,000 ventilators to New York. Call it what it is. We mean nothing. The color of my skin means nothing. The only thing that means something during this pandemic is money. President Trump will not release the 20,000 ventilators because we mean nothing. He is holding them for his people. How about that? The reason why we're dying in New York is because they are not doing what they're saying on TV. They are lying to everybody. They are lying to this country. They are lying to the world. They are not doing enough for this pandemic. It's like they want it to spread. The numbers are rising and you're telling me that you are not testing. You can't get your hands on a test, but these NBA ball players don't even have to get out of bed to get their hands on a test. I'm angry. My sister died yesterday for no reason because New York City Presbyterian Hospital on 160 something street in Manhattan kept telling her that she did not have the virus when she did. It wasn't until Matter of fact, I'm going to put a timeline on it. She was sick for a week and a half, about three hours before she died. When she was on the ventilator was when they tested her. How's that? How's that for a pandemic? There's nobody helping us. Nobody cares. Everyone is for self. That's what's going on. That is the truth. That is the truth of what's going on. 
go to a New York City hospital and ask for a test. Someone like me. Or someone that really is not a millionaire or something. What society considers not to be, you know, of substance. Because I know I'm of substance, but you know. It's, it's, it's just the way this world is. Everyone is blind. Everyone acts like they don't understand what's going on, you know. Please, I don't have time. I don't have no time for the bullshit. This country is racist. I don't have time for the bullshit. People put it in a box, put it on a bow, however the fuck you want to fix it, but that's what it is in this country. Anyone who says it's not, you're a liar. 